number 10. Under five minutes to go in the first. Nick Squashik skates in and he scores on the backhand. That is a thing of beauty from the junior. Two goals on the night for Squashik as the Crimson take a 1-0 lead after one. Number nine. We have a bit of history early in the third. Reynoso attacks the rim and lays it in. With that basket, Josiah Reynoso surpasses 1,000 career points. The junior becomes the second girls basketball player to reach the milestone in school history. The game pauses to recognize Reynoso for a great achievement. Number eight. The Crusaders bust open a close game in the third. Maglio threads the needle to Will Schlechtweg, who goes up top to make it 3-1. That's a beauty. Take a look here as Matt Maglio goes between the defenseman's legs and Schlechtweg takes care of the rest. It's a three-point night for Will Schlechtweg with this goal and two apples. Number seven. Passaic Tech is a man down, but they are looking to do some damage. Max Bernice makes a sensational move, and he lights the lamp. Wow, that is outstanding. We have to take another look. The junior getting it done shorthanded to make it 2 nothing Bulldogs. Number six. Late in the second, college achieved tying it up. Jameer Westry lobs it to unique rink, and oh goodness, there's children here. Rink with some hang time on the alley-oop as 32 seconds remain and they take a 2018 lead at halftime. Number five. Lions trying to build some momentum. Grandison throws down a serious one-hand jam. Wow, that is one way to send the gym into a frenzy. The sophomore with a grand slam to pull Immaculate within two. Number four. Freddie Field at the best game of his high school career it's his first multi-goal game, and how about one better? There's the hat trick. Three goals at Freddy's, and this one's the best of the bunch. Take another look. Field is able to flip the puck over the defenseman stick and fires for his third goal and ties a bow on Pingree's fourth straight win. Number three. It's looking like that'll be the final play of the quarter. Alex Massung doesn't think so from half court. Buckets, another buzzer beater for Hudson Catholic, and they're up 62-58 after three. Number two. 2.7 seconds to go. Zach Pateta gets a hand on the inbounds. Vicente Yanes to John Kelly for the win! It's a buzzer beater for Wachung Hills. The Warriors get a 40 to 39 win over Franklin, and there's Bedlam and Warren thanks to Kelly's heroics. And the number one play of the week. Except McKnight misses both, and here's your play of the game. Nico Pena gets the rebound and finds Richie Rosa. Rosa down by one stumbling, and the whole county on his back. Game. Richie Rosa off glass sinks a game winner for St. Peter's Prep. And talk about a close call. That ball almost bounced out, but it didn't. And 76-74, your final.